Hello YouTube, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to a new Let's Play on my channel. Today we're going to be playing some Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now this is in beta access. About sort of eight to nine months ago I played the alpha a little bit on my channel, did a couple of videos on that. I thought it'd be nice to come and revisit and actually play a little bit of the beta access. So beta access takes place about mid-game. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it too much for you. What I'll do is I'll probably do th about three or four videos on this, showing you the sort of quest line and showing you some of the dialogue and just observing some things um, as we go forward. If you guys like the sound of that and enjoy the videos, then by all means drop a like on the video. What I'm going to do now, guys, is going to drop my camera and get off the screen for you guys, jump straight into the game. Let's crack on with it, folks. After the kidnapping of the king, chaos and turmoil ruled the land, and our province was no exception. We were all run by bandits and marauders, and the roads were no longer safe. The most terrible massacre happened at the stud farm in Neuhof, which was raided and torched, and all the horses slaughtered. My liege lord sent his men, led by Sir Robert of Tolmberg, to track down the killers and to bring them to justice. I rode with them, but the investigation has been slow and difficult. Whenever I came across some trace of the bandits, someone erased it in the cruelest way imaginable. In the end, though, I got one step ahead of the enemy. I found out one of the bandits was still alive and hiding near Tomberg. But before I set out to track him down, I had to report to Sir Robert. Okay, so that basically sets the scene of what we're going to be doing. Uh, in this let's play. Welcome to Talmberg. There's our character, Henry. Now, this character model for Henry is actually going to be very different. If you go onto the Warhorse Studios YouTube channel, it's got lots and lots of dev uh, update videos and vlogs. And they actually got a different guy now that's going to be a voice actor for the main character Henry and they're going to be using his facial uh, likeness I'm going to capture his kind of likeness for the uh, for the game for the full release so this Henry right now is actually a placeholder Master in a real fight you'd be dead already sir ah Henry carry on well lad have you made any progress with the investigation yes sir I think I have at last so you've found someone who isn't gutted and nailed to a wall? It wasn't easy, sir, but I believe I have. I have information about one of the bandits who did it. He's even hiding in a village nearby. God's blood. It's true the darkest shade is beneath the candlestick. Who is he? I only know that they call him Riki, and he's from here in Talmberg. That's it? You wouldn't believe how much effort it took me to find that out. But I think it's enough to go on. But what if he's dead too? I think we'd already know if he was. These fellows are not given to subtlety. Hmm. True enough. We haven't found any more mutilated corpses. Well, get on with it then. And when you find him, come and see me. Most likely I'll be in the encampment by Merhoyed. You can rely on me, sir. Farewell. And be careful, Henry. I know what that rabble did to you. But remember with whom you're dealing. Don't start any foolhardiness on your own. Understood? I'll try not to, sir. Okay, so that uh, starts up the opening quest. We now leave the fortification here at Talmberg on our horse. And that is exactly where the game picks up. I must say, beautiful setting. And they've actually worked with local historians to try and recreate what this area would have looked like back in in this time period. Okay, so I'm actually going to be using, as you can probably tell by the dismount button, I'm going to be using a controller, an Xbox wired 360 controller for this. That's because the sword combat is much easier with a controller than with the keyboard and mouse. I struggle with the keyboard and mouse, so that's why I've gone with this. Uh, so, first of all, let's bring up the menu. This is what the actual menu looks like. Just move my mouse cursor over the screen over there. 
Inventory, inventory. Uh, we've got a bastard sword, we've got a torch, brown hood, brown hose, leather boots, a linen, a linen shirt, a white gambeson, an apple, a bandage and a lockpick and a little bit of money. So we've got 40 coins. The sort of golden head uh, at the bottom is has 40 that's, uh, coins and then the two kind of uh, uh, the weight things down below me. I can't, can't remember what they're called. Someone please tell me in the comment section what they're called. Um, we have 19.9 out of 60 so that's the most we can carry at the moment. And this just narrows it down then, uh, just to each sort of thing. Player, so level 12 currently, strength 15, we've got agility of 10, vitality of 10, speech is, uh, is actually 6. To show more and you can get different things as well. Trustworthy middleman, negotiator, a final offer, amicable customer. So these are different things we currently have. Charisma is 3. Visibility is currently 50%. Uh, conspicuousness is 61. Noise speed, you've got health, stamina, there's quite a lot of different things here and you can narrow it down again to sort of combat and skills and buffs and reputation and whatnot. Horse, so this is my horse, so I look like I got my horse using my right stick to move my horse around. Quest log, so there's two quests by here. On guard, given the nature of my investigation it wouldn't hurt to get a bit of combat training. After all I don't want to lose my head. So basically what it's saying is if you want to get some combat training you go to the encampment by Mirrorhead and you actually find the uh, the guy there which gives you some training, which we will be doing at some point. We will have a video. We'll, well, we will have a video on that. And then on the scent, this is the actual quest which we're going to be doing today. Track down Riki. So if I bring up the map, that shows me where I am. I need to go into the village, basically ask about. Because if you look at the thing here, the parish priest, Father Goodwin, or Godwin rather, revealed to me that Limpy Lubosh told him in confession a bandit known as Riki... One of the gang that raided Nohoff is to be found somewhere in Talmberg. Unfortunately, he couldn't tell me any more. I'd better start by asking around the village whether anyone knows this Riki. So that's all we got to do. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to walk around the village. Now, if I press uh, the B button, tap that, I sprint. You'll see the green and the orange and red. Uh, orange and yellow, rather, meter at the bottom with my stamina for my horse. So if I... Dash B, he goes fast. A little bit difficult to control, it does take some getting used to. Like trying to reverse a horse right now, you can see it's a, bit, a little bit all over the place. So you get used to it after a while. There's a pond with some tents over there. I'm going to start up over here. And I've actually done a little bit of this quest before, so I know what I'm doing. But I want to try and explore this area for you guys as well as we go over this little bridge. Just to kind of give you guys an idea. Also, I should probably show you my settings as well before we begin. Uh, if you've got my about page on YouTube, you'll see all my current setup settings. Also, if you've got my Discord, which is in the description below, you'll see my computer setup has an, its own page on Discord as well. But if I show you uh, graphic settings, I'm using a 19 by 20 1080 resolution. Window is uh, full screen window. Details are very high, which is the highest you can have. Show FPS, I've got it actually off at the moment. So that's my graphic settings, and then we've got advanced graphics, and as you can see, everything's on very high. So we have got the best sort of stuff going here. I've got motion blur off, uh, and that's that basically. And I think it's some work they've got to do with the trailers and stuff which they have on the YouTube channel, do actually look a little bit better. You will notice the occasional pop in and whatnot um, in this game. But you have to remember this is still a beta. So you can talk to people here. I've got a lady with a broom by here. Press the A button to talk to her. So we can go and ask about Riki. I'm looking for some fellow they call Riki. That's the Tanner's son, Hinnek. Where can I find him? Hard to say. He's not around here much. Thank Christ. You could try his folks' place. Okay, so... What's his father like? What's the Tanner like? Hinnek's father? He's a slimy old toad. Unpleasant to folk and weird. Okay, why do they call him Riki? I'm assuming it's nothing to do with uh, Theon Greyjoy from Game of Thrones. Why do they call him Reeky anyway? Why do you think? Because he's got a big nose. He reeks. That's why. Jesus. What can you tell me about what him? What can you tell me about this Hinnick? I wouldn't say I know him. Decent people have nothing to do with him. How come? He stinks. He's filthy and he goes around with peculiar people. In short... Not someone you'd want to know. Okay, so why does he go around with... Why, well, why does he go around with peculiar people and why don't people like him? So we'll ask why don't people like him first. 
Why don't people like him? I'm not one to gossip. All I can tell you is he doesn't make a good impression on folk. Okay, so surely someone must talk to him. And does nobody at all talk to him? I hear he sees Adela. So Adela is his sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart? I wouldn't put it that way. She's anybody's sweetheart if they've got the money for it. Okay, and that's that basically. And then you can say where it is. And then she said Adela, so we'll ask the baths. I'm assuming that's Where's that. Where's the bathhouse? There's no dialogue here. So this is the sort of thing I want to mention to you guys. A lot of the characters currently have no dialogue. So for this sentence, for exactly, she doesn't actually say. So she's just moving her hands around like a, like a bit of a spare one right now. So we'll just skip that for the time being. And then we can go back. We can ask about Talonberg. We're just going to leave it there for now. There's a guy down here as well, uh, actually just fishing. We'll have a little word with him. Um, got a nice green hood as well. I can say to him where is Tanner or the bathhouse. Where's where the does the Tanner live? And again, this guy's got no uh, no dialogue. So at the very end of the village, go downstream by the creek. It's the last house on the left bank. So that's cool. Thank you, dude. So we know where that is. Now, there are other things you can do as well. So if we go into this lady's uh, house by here, you'll see a few things now. You can actually steal stuff. Got a whole lake to steal. So I can steal some bread, some ham. Got some uh, carrots for there. Um... So I'm going to show you the steel mechanics though. I'm just going to nick an apple for now. i show you the apple. Hold eight to steel. I'm just going to nick that. We're going to get the hell out of here. Don't want to draw attention, do we? Let's get away from there. And if I show you the menu by here. Food. You'll see that apple now has a red hand by it to show it's been stolen. Uh, the love heart is actually the health it gives you. So this has got 100, whereas the one I already had only has 90. Um, my food's currently at 95% at the bottom, so I don't really need to eat at the moment. My rest is pretty good, 95. So overall, I'm, my stats are pretty good, but it's something you have to keep an eye on throughout the day, basically. So we've got an idea now where this guy is. So if I actually bring up the map again, uh, by here, you'll see now if I get my cursor over here. That's where we currently are located. Now the bathhouse is up there, and that's where that Adela would be. And the Tanner's, uh, the Tanner actually lives over here. So it gives you an idea now of the quest. So any flag with the queue on it is the quest location. As as we've only got to go across the bridge to the bathhouse, we'll go there first. So if we just exit the menu, let's just turn our horse around without crashing and go over here. So as you can, as you can see, the way I'm doing this right now, I'm, I'm kind of doing this as almost like a tutorial just to get you guys a feel for the game. Um, you've got to remember it's, it's, a beta, it's in beta at the moment. It was an alpha. I played the alpha a little bit. There's a lot more that you can do in the beta. But you do kind of have to follow the quest line um, fairly staunchly, to be honest with you. So we just go off our horse by right here. I gotta I got say, I do love the design of the saddle. Like that's quite a lot of detail, even on the horse's backside. If you look at the horse's ass, but yeah, that's a good horse ass. I don't think there's many better horse asses in gaming currently. <laughs> that's probably a bold statement though. Okay, so we've got a lady by right here. Let's just talk to her. She actually looks a little bit like the one we saw earlier. So we've got Ricky. Actually, I think it's the same. Is it the same person? Uh, yeah, it's actually the same person. She like walked all the way. Yeah, she must have walked from over here. Didn't see that happen. Okay, so <laughs> that's a bit weird. So again, you can just wander around. There's things you can do. So there's some doors. You can open some doors. Now, as you can see by here, it's a guy sleeping. So I go up to this guy. I can talk to him can knock him out if I wanted to. But the thing is, this game remembers. So if I knock this guy out, when he wakes up, he'll come looking for me. So he might pop up from somewhere and try and kill me later on. Got to be careful of things like that. Let's try and talk to him for now. Wake him up and talk to him. We're going to be nice. I'm not going to just be a, a horrible person just yet. Let's see if this guy's going dialogue. So Riki. And then it's lots of different things. Sure. How come he has such a bad reputation? Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory and retired for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies, and they beat up some merchants. A bit more than high spirits, huh? Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. 
Uh, at least someone who talks Don't to him. Don't tell me no one at all talks to him. Ooh, new level well, in speech. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Okay, so you can end the dialogue here. So by talking to the lady earlier, and by talking to this guy with the uh, the bow and arrow, you can easily see that um, there's a couple of ways you can get the information from people. I actually increased my speech skill. So if I show you the player now, uh, speech. It's now showing seven. That was actually on six at the start when I showed you. So we've actually gone up a level there. <coughs> So bathhouse wench called Adela. We're in the bathhouse. Um, this is the sort of area. So we've got to look for someone called Adela. There's a guy by here. Let's talk to him. I can say Ricky. There must be somebody called Ricky. So you Don't tell same, me no one at all talks to Same list of him. questions, basically. There's one bathhouse wench talks to him. A filthy harlot, of course. Who else? And what's this harlot's name? Adela, I think. Adela. So again, it's pointing you in the right direction. It's pretty straightforward. You gotta to talk to someone called Adela, a bathhouse wench. There's a woman by there which you haven't spoken to. I think that is Adela, actually. Yeah, I think this is her. This is her. I only know this because I've done this before. So, say, Riki. I heard you've been seeing Hinnick for Tanner. So what? Come to preach to me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner? That I seduce decent men, huh? Uh, <laughs> nothing like that. God, no. Nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinnick, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough, but I don't know what I can tell you about him. When did you last see him? When did you see him last? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. That was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came here sober. So he was acting strange that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept on prattling and wasn't interested in, well, you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Okay, so what did he say that evening? Can you remember anything he said that evening? Um, hard to say. He went on about some Jacob who died. Then he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Money's involved. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of money hidden at home behind the house. Aha. Uh -huh. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Just poppycock. Okay, so did you look for the money? Did you go there for a look? No, I have no time for such things. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like that get money? Sure, I understand. And then we'll prod just a bit more. Where is it hidden? Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his dad's small holding in the western corner. All right, thanks. Bingo. Qu objective started, find Riki's stash. So we've just got a new objective. And what you'll see now, if I bring up the map again, there's now two quests. And look, there's a moving quest mark over there. That's obviously the father. That's the tanner. And that corner of the map over there is actually where the stash is hidden. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump on our horse. We're going to interrogate the father, the tanner. We've got that information. You, can, you, know, you don't have to do it in that order either, but we've done it in this order because I wish to... Well, to her in that order, if that makes any sense. Um, so I think you've got to go this way now to get there, if I remember correctly. And I think we go straight on rather than going left. There's a shop up there. There's a shopkeeper, an innkeeper. Um, he sells apples. He sells, I think he sells a gambeson. I think he sells a bow and arrow as well, although it probably would not be wise to get at this stage. I can't go with any... No, I think we cross by here, don't we? Yeah, I think we cross. Uh oh, so this is where it gets difficult uh, riding a horse. Um, trying to reverse a horse is difficult. It's not like a car, put it that way. Okay, we're, we're going to try and take this round. They've made it realistic. That's the the important thing. They, like a lot of um, you know, for lack of a better term, sword and sandal kind of games. They uh, they do leave out some of the realism. They've gone for total realism. For the most part in this game, even with the horses. 
it's very much um, a realistic interpretation of what this time period would have been like. So if we dismount by here, we're now going to try and finish this quest before we end this first part of the series. So we got to look for this guy. Now you can see there's some markers on the bar above me. There he is doing some gardening, but looks like doing some work, work in the fields. I'm gonna go and talk to him. So Ricky. I'm looking for a fellow they call Ricky. Have you ever heard tell of him? Psh, why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinnick. Aha. Uh -huh. You wouldn't happen to know where he is. I don't know nothing. Don't you know at least where he usually goes? It's quite important. Hinnick shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Okay, so you can see that uh, this guy is not happy. We can ask him who his friends are. And then we've got a few different options we can go with. We can go with uh, the fact that I'm honourable and I'm an envoy of Sir Radzig. We can try and warn him with speech, saying Hinek is in trouble. Or we can threaten him and just say, look, dude, don't get mad at me. We're going to go with the speech one. Hinek is in trouble. Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears in it. This time his neck is on the block. He got mixed up with some very unsavory people. I have to find him. <sighs> All right. And there we go, succeeded. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like, like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow you. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. All right. It's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so where is this poacher's hideout? Don't you have any clue where his hideout might be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. Okay, I need to know more. What more do you know? I... I don't know. I swear to God Almighty, I don't know. Hinek never told me nothing. You must notice something. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything! Well, he came and went at various times. I really don't know. Except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and leaves and shit on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? Okay, so then we can, uh... We can say the money he brought home. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? <laughs> eh, well, I don't really know. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him money. Of course, it could have been for meat. All right. I'll ask at the inn, then. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it. So we'll end the dialogue. We completed one quest and we started a new quest. Now, a few things to note. If I hadn't upgraded my speech when I talked to the guy with the bow and arrow earlier, then those all three of those options would not have worked. But to get around that, I would have gone to the corner of the garden behind him there and got the evidence where we know that he stashed his loot. Hence why he said then he didn't stash his loot here, but we know for a fact he did because if you go here, an option comes up that says start digging. And obviously, press A. I don't have a shovel, so what we got to do, we got to get a shovel. Because I want to make sure we get that loot for ourselves. So there's a few ways you can do the quest. And I believe there's a shovel in one of these barns. Uh, not this one. I think it might be this one, possibly. Let's have a look. Yeah, there. so there's one by here. So hold A to steal. We're going to steal this from him. We're going to nick a shovel. We now have that. Oh, walk into the door. We're going to go back. And we're going to go and get all that lovely stuff from there. Which is going to help us out because if you look at our menu right now, we have 40 coins and that's it. I want to make sure we get as much money as possible. So if we go back here again and then go over it and say start digging. We're going to start digging, hold it. And look at that. There's actually some loot here. Adela gave the game away and said he stored it in the northwest corner of his dad's house, which it is. And we can go in here now. 
and then open is a white gambeson which we can take it's not worth much but i can sell it and there's 24.3 coins we'll take all of it lovely so now if you look i've now got 64.3 coins his dad was lying we could have threatened him with that knowledge and he would have gave the game up eventually anyway but as it turned out, we took the money for ourselves. So, guys, I think we're going to end it there for now. In the next episode, we'll obviously continue the main quest. And I'll show you the shopkeeper as well. And then at some point, then, we'll have some combat for you as well. If you guys have actually enjoyed this video, then by all means, uh, drop a like on the video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos so far. Um, if you've got any questions, drop them below. And I'll try and answer them in the next video as well. Hopefully, I'll get the next part out now in the next two or three days. Okay, guys? I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.